<laughs> the Mini is back. Perfect. <laughs> No, it's come out, it's come out pretty good, it's pretty good. So there's a few little holes there, it's blown through, which I was kind of expected, that, that's gone. Um, so yeah, just repair the last little bit. Grind all these off, put another runner in there that I took out. Goes in there. Um, put the other one of those back in goes in those holes there because I, I don't know whether all minis had them or just the coopers they don't board goes in there and clips on the bits I've got to pop rivet back in here well they covered the spare wheel I guess so yeah the battery and the spare wheel I guess all minis had them I can't really remember and what is seam sealing crush on seam sealer it's so like that joint there, yeah, is to the outside of the car. So it's that there, that panel's over that panel. So ultimately, it will get water in. So you seam seal this side of it, and then underneath you seam seal it as well when it's flipped over. But like this panel, the cross member, doesn't go to the outside of the car. So you don't you don't need to seam seal that. So anywhere. It goes to the outside of the car. Use your brush on seam seal all the way around. Sticky oral job, but you've got to do it. And that gives it a kind of waterproof membrane? Yeah, it that just kind of? goes off. You have to leave it for a few days before you can primer it or anything. Yeah, that'll be alright. Still soft enough. Stuff right out if you want to just get another brush in the thinners, but it's I think it doesn't look authentic. So it almost doesn't want to be too good. Yeah, they 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 were never done properly, you know, like as I suppose if you're doing a I don't know, it depends how anal you are I suppose, but um to me it looks better like this when it's painted with a bit of texture on it, you know. So you'll basically do any external... Any external joint at all, yeah. Okay, so I've got a couple of questions for you, Ash. Yeah. So this guy called Piper Doug, he says, uh, were you ever book taught engineering or is it all just wrench taught? Um, pretty much wrench taught, I'd say, span of taught, because I went to college for panel beating and motor mechanics, but that was only like a two year course BTEC thing. Uh, but Dad used to race motorbikes. I ended up doing a span of work for him when he was racing. Yeah, just years and years of experience, I suppose, that's it, yeah. And what is your favorite vehicle of all time? Ooh, blimey. Um, don't know. Probably a Duesenberg Model J. But you want some very deep pockets for one of them. Any reason for that? Just a stunning 30s iconic car, boat tail. Um, yeah, it's incredible bodywork. Anything like that era, the 
Delages, Delahays, all that sort of stuff. It's all just really good looking 1930s Art Deco stuff, you know. What about best built cars? I mean, because a lot of lovely cars are badly built. I think some of the American stuff's pretty good. When you think what we were driving around in the 30s in England and what they were producing, it's, it's a different ball game completely. You know what I mean? Yeah, Cadillacs are well built, Packards are stunning built. I mean, it's totally different with motorbikes though. I mean, those old WLA Harleys are horrible. Truly disgusting things. I mean, you get a lot of British Velocet, all handmade and all hand engineered, really, really nice stuff to work with, you know. What about disappointing? Anything that you thought would be great and would turned out to be a pile of rubbish? Um, I don't know really. Um, I'm trying to think. Those old MGs. You know, like the one we had next door? Oh, yeah. They were horrible. I mean, they really are horrible. <laughs> Not a bloody thing on them works properly. I mean, people swear by them, but I just find them horrible. So to the untrained eye, i.e. me, what it looks like has happened, it's come back from the blasters, you've gone round with a, your green pen, the famous yeah, green pen. anything that I need to do. To do. And then you go back and yeah, repair well, it, and repair. It's just on the top side, then I've got to flip it over again and do the bottom. But like those repairs, see that green pen is there. That's easy to do when it's turned over. Because I haven't got to reach in through there and you know, try and grab around everything. Yeah. And that panel there, it'll be easy when, it's, when she's flipped over. But now, just little holes, I'd say, that come through. Because any little hole, it's just going to leak. So. Of course. Just get as much done as you can. Which is basically the, one of the purposes of sending it to the blasters, you know. You know exactly what you get back. Yeah. So but, the blasters, that's like sand blasting, is that right? Yes, yeah, uh, like media blasting, soda blasting. Basically, it's all that white powder on the floor. So it's quite a fine, quite a fine blast. Glass bead they use, walnut shells, all sorts of stuff. And obviously, the lighter, something like that. If you went on a heavy blast, then it would come back with dents all over it. Okay. It just ruined the roof, so they have to go quite careful with it. Yeah, and then um, before it goes to the painters again, just blow an air gun around everywhere you can get, just to blow as much of that out as you can. Because when he's painting it, you don't want that coming through. I'll repair that bit when it's turned over, and that bit. So at the moment, what we've got to do is just grind these up, do any welding that needs doing. Needs a bit in there. If you weren't a mechanic, Ash, what would you be? Porn star. Porn star? <laughs> thing is, you answered that so quickly, there's an element of truth to that. No, no. I wouldn't be a very well paid one, I know that. <laughs>